Welcome to MB Trading's online tutorial series. This presentation covers features related to stock trading with MB Trading. Before we get started, please take a few minutes to read through our legal disclosures on this slide. This presentation covers order entry using the MB Trading Desktop Pro platform for trading stocks. The following training will teach you how to set up your order entry preferences with MB Trading's Desktop Pro platform for trading stocks. First, you will right click on your order entry panel. You will then click on Preferences. This will bring up your preferences for order entry. You want to make sure you click on the Stocks tab right up at the top. You first have the option to select the unit to use for stop and limit values. You can choose a price or a currency amount. Next, you can set your default amount of shares. For example, the default amount of shares for each trade is currently set up at 100. Of course, you can change that amount when you actually enter in the number of shares, but the default will be 100. Your reserve orders are also set at 100. You can set up a warning if your quantity exceeds a certain amount of shares. Spin increments is related to your mouse wheel. So if we spin the mouse wheel, our quantity of shares increases by one. You can customize that so that if you spin the mouse wheel, your quantity of shares increases by 10, or your price increases by a certain amount by spinning the mouse wheel. Your control plus arrow and your alt plus arrow will also increase those. Your trailing stop offset prefill. You can choose a trailing stop offset prefill by a fixed amount, for example, a $1 trailing stop, a percentage, or a percentage of the average true range. And right here, you can select the average true range source by the minute or day, and then a numerical value associated with it. Our TTO offset prefill. Our TTO stands for threshold triggered order. This is where you're setting up a stop loss on one side of your trade and a take profit on the other side of your trade. You can set up this offset by a fixed amount meaning a $2 target or a $1 stop, or you can choose a percentage, a 4% target, 3% stop. You can also choose a percentage of the average true range, and then set up your average true range source. You also can set up an initial trailing stop by the amount. On the other side, you can choose various order entry default windows. For example, if you want to confirm all of your order placements, you simply check off confirm order placement. If you want to confirm order cancellations, you check off confirm order cancellations. Under the order routing defaults, you can choose your market to route your orders through. For example, if you're heavily using the NYSE, you can select the NYSE or NASDAQ or any of the markets that we have available. The order type allows you to choose a specific order type as your default. For example, we selected market. So unless we change it when we place the order, all of our orders will go in as a market order. You can of course change this over here when you're actually entering the order. However, this is the default order type. Your expiration, you can choose four different options. Placement and closing will be through MBTX. And then you can set up your stop limit offset. Your stop limit offset sets the price in between your stop and limit on an entry or exit. For further clarification, please view our video on how to place stop limit orders for trading stocks. Once you have set up all of your preferences for order entry, you click on the finish button to save them, and then you can begin trading. 